Hey there, it's Tom here, the English Picker. I just wanted to do this video because my last video went on way too long. So I wanted to talk about the action, vintage action figures that I've picked up at the car boot sale. Now this guy, it was, um, I probably came across his stuff about half ten at the second car boot I went to that day. So it was fairly late on. So, uh, you know, part of me wonders what he had early on because his stalls did seem busy. Um... And he got like bric-a-brac on top and bits of costume jewellery. And I actually bought some jewellery off him later. But underneath he got these big tubs of action figures. And they were pretty grotty condition. And a lot of kids were picking through them and whatnot. And like buying the odd one. Because there was some Marvel and stuff like that. Modern ones. But one of the first things I spotted was... Um, bizarrely enough, he's been in the news lately. Was... Uh, Mr. Hulk Hogan, um, action figure, uh, poke, his, his face poking out, and I said, oh, I, I know those. Now, I'm no expert on action figures, so don't judge me on this. I know enough to get myself in a lot of trouble. Um, you know, I had them when I was younger, obviously, so I do know some of them. Uh, so, much like the comics, I'm trying to learn by, by doing. Now, I went rummaged through all this guy's stuff and then wandered round and then something in the back of my mind said go back on the way out. So on the way out I went back and picked up some more bits. Total spend, uh, he was asking, he got loads and he was asking, he said between 50p and a pound for the small ones and between a pound and two pound for the larger ones. Now I picked up, in the first batch I picked up 28 and the second one I think I picked up 15. So he charged me 20 quid for the first one and 15 quid for the second one. So, spent 35 quid. And I'll show you what I got. So, obviously, you've got Mr. Hulk Hogan here. Uh, his action still works and all that, but unfortunately, his fingers have seen better days. Uh, and I didn't notice those at the time. I wasn't thinking straight. I was, in, I was kind of junk drunk. So, I'll probably have to bundle him with other stuff. Uh, you're going to hear a bit of rustling because they are in bags, but we shall see. I was very happy to find this uh, because I've got my old Ghostbusters when I was younger but I never had this one and this is one of those ones that changes I can't remember the name of them uh, but he, his mechanism still works there which is cool and he's in really decent condition no it, I don't know if they came with accessories but none of that but compared to some of the others he's in really nice condition so I'll probably be keeping that one which is cool now there's this big guy now Joe had some of these this is the only one I've got um, I think they were called extreme dinosaurs or something like that. Uh, it's got a really cool scope on it there, which is very cool. And that thing makes his mouth open there. So if anybody knows the name of that guy or any indeed of any of this stuff, please drop me a comment because it'll save me doing research. Now I looked at, I knew who this guy was. It's Scarecrow. Uh, but strangely enough, there's two of them. Now, this looks more modern. It's marked at the back. Um, trademark and copyright DC Comics. Uh, brackets S03. Close brackets. So I'm assuming that's the date. Um, it should come with like a Grim Reaper scythe type thing. Uh, but still, there's money in these. And one loose like this sold for 6 99 plus postage. So uh, to have two of them is pretty cool. So there's a decent chunk of my money back there. Um, then we've got this guy, which I think his name was Sabretooth or something like that. Um, X-Men. And it is dated 1992. And then if you flip the thing at the back, it changes to have that in the front there. So that's pretty cool. No accessories with any of these, like I've said. Then we've got this... Uh, it seems familiar, but I can't remember the name of it. The hologram is sort of apparent there, but at the top it's not so good. So any help on that would be great. And uh, this guy, I don't know his name, but I know he, I looked up from the thing that's there. It's uh, UGO, uh, so sort of from the card game. I don't think there's a huge amount of value in him. Although it is dated um, uh, 1996, it still seems like there isn't much value in him. So the rest uh, I might bundle together. Uh, this seems familiar, but I can't think where from. 
I know it should have a missile in there and you can see the remnants of a charity tag and the, the thing is uh, 1994 those characters from Cleveland Inc Body Wars so I'm assuming that's the name then Body Wars maybe I should have probably read it um, who knows um, then We've got this, I think the name is Shrek or Shriek, uh, something like that. It's a, it's a skeleton with boobs, basically, and long hair. So, uh, can't go wrong with a skeleton with boobs. So, there you go. Don't know. Um, then... I uh, know these because I've still got my old ones. These are, I think they're called Rock Lords. They all fold up. It folds up into thing. Not a huge amount of value on its own, uh, but I've got a couple of others, duplicates. I'll bundle them together and they, they go better in bundles because individually, not a huge amount of value. I've uh, got two Robocops here. We've got one um, with sort of chest wounds, one missing the chest plate, and both obviously missing the helmet. It's not great condition, uh, but still cool. Um, then we've got this guy again he seems familiar it's dated 1992 and he's got a thing at the back but it doesn't actually do anything so I think his arm's supposed to move ah there we go it's like a chop so like a Steven Seagal style chop uh, and then this arm goes up and down like that uh, anybody can help me please drop me a comment uh, got Two-Face uh, they're pretty cool you got quite a lot of Batman stuff but most of the Batman stuff was all missing accessories and the dog chewed edition where dogs had a go at them so that was a nice condition because some of them were really really grotty then we got I'm annoyed because this is a stormtrooper that could I, I sold some previous Star Wars stuff that needed one of these and I now I've got one which is annoying so I'll just keep that this is one of the other Batman ones made by Kenner 19, 1990 there so I'm you know I'm assuming it must have had accessories or whatnot then I don't know these might be mask I'm not sure LGT I think they were the people who made computer games so don't know again they look like those other ones I had before that I thought were um, GI Joe I mean they could be GI Joe I, don't, I, I really don't know again a bit, bit bigger that guy so I don't know if he's looks like Che Guevara um, there. Then there was quite a few of these, which are biker mice from Mars. This one, the uh, things on top are a bit janky. Uh, very, very grubby. Again, these are dated 1993 on the back there. And they've got kind of squidgy heads. Don't ask me the names. I haven't got a clue. So we've got that guy there, that guy there. And then we've got Throttle. I only know that because it says on the back of his thing there. I think I've got another one of him. Yep, I have. And there was loads that I left there, smaller ones about that sort of size. Uh, I didn't get those. Now I'm going to try and see these this guy next week, see if he's got anything else that I missed. I was tempted to make an offer on all of them, but some of them were really bad condition. Like he got a version of this, but half of its foot was missing. And this is Bucky O'Hare. Uh, but the other one had half his foot broke off and I just thought it's not worth it but I mean look how grubby Ugh. so I think I'm going to try and clean it with some baby wipes or like it's gently with a toothbrush but they, you know I imagine that'll do quite well um, then I've got another one of these holographic guys here so yeah pretty cool uh, this guy now this guy's more modern I think because he's dated 2000 I think 2003 so don't expect much from him uh, then we have a doctor I know this one but I didn't notice the damage like an idiot so this is Doctor Who 
Uh, I didn't notice the fact he's missing a hand. So, but we'll go back into the car boot pile and I'm sure I'll get 20p, 50p for it. Uh, this guy seems really familiar and I can't think why. Um, so, and he's got the action there where he <laughs> looks a bit wrong, that does. You get the idea. And he is dated somewhere. 1993. Seems familiar, but I can't think where from. And then, oh, I've got another. This was a, one of the smaller ones. Another one there. And then, oh, there's another one. Is that the same too? I've got two. And then we're getting down there. Now we've got this guy uh, here. And he should do something, but I can't work out what it is. He's got like a little cliff. Okay, move his arm or something. He does something anyway, because it looks like his thing flips like that. So if anybody again knows what that is, there's no discernible markings on him. So I don't rightly know. Same with, with this guy. He looks older and he's definitely got some kind of weird skin condition. You can see on the inside of his legs there, he's really funny looking. Uh, and he's got a really soft and squidgy head. Uh, so no markings on him at all, other than that T at the front. And uh, yeah, so if anybody knows. Okay, getting down to some of the good stuff. Now this guy seems familiar as well. He's dated uh, 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 1995. It looks like one of the ones out of Tron, but I don't think it is. Okay, so on to some of the good stuff. Let's, oh, we've got another one of these. I picked up one identical to this, uh, one of these um, Beetlejuice guys. Uh, so I've got two of them now, which is bizarre. Never seen them for years, and I get two within a month or so of each other. Okay, picked up some... Uh, Wrestling figures. I remember these. We've got Macho Man here. So that's pretty cool. He's all in good condition, except for that, which I've just noticed missing the finger. So he's giving you the finger there. And then, uh, is this Ultimate Warrior? This mechanism still works well. I remember my friends had these. I wasn't allowed wrestling figures, uh, or army figures for that matter which has uh, come back to haunt me because now I'm buying him again and again he's missing a finger um, got this guy here his name I can't remember with very tanned arms and a very pale face uh, doing the clothesline uh, so yeah pretty cool and then another guy here it says, it says on his arse the hammer so there you go and then, was it Legion of Doom? Something like that, this guy's from. There wasn't the other one there, just this one. Uh, I do vaguely remember that with the horseshoe haircut and the kind of kiss-like face makeup. And then, just two more wrestling ones. Got this crazy guy. <laughs> there. So, and he does that. So that's cool. They're all dated sort of in the 90s, late 80s, early 90s, I think. And then got this guy here with a very strange thing on his back. So there you go. They're the wrestling ones. And then there's just a couple of Turtles figures, the earliest being this one. Uh, he's got this thing, but obviously that isn't anything to do with it. It just happened to be what was in his hand. And it's dated 1988. Uh, it's quite bad condition. Um, is that Raphael? Yeah, quite a bad condition as you can see. No accessories. So there, and then some more modern ones. Um, got Leonardo here. There with his hat on. This I think this is when the films came out um, because it's dated 2003. Uh, oh, there's another one here which I'll, I'll leave that one to last. 
Uh, and we've got this guy, he's a bit more complete. He's still got his belt and stuff like that. that Donatello. Donatello is all, always my favourite. Don't know why. Uh, so, yeah, that's there. Cool. And then, again, duplicates. So, this guy was an old boy. He said he hasn't done car boots in a while, so... I don't know why he's got so many figures. I know he bought stuff at auctions because he was talking about auctions, so maybe he got them auctions. This one's a weird one. No hands because they've obviously been fired off. I, I, yeah, they're like fired. But yeah, we've got Donatello in like some kind of crazy samurai robot armor stuff, dated 1994. But both of these are missing. No idea, but cool. And then the last one here is this crazy pizza one and he goes oh there's the, the the sewer things for that and I think got mixed up but there was a bag of these sewer grates now they say do not shoot at people or animals and they say sewer on them now they don't fit in there there's no way they fit in there so anybody who knows what they're from are they from like one of the vehicles it's quite a lot of them so I imagine that's a bit of a commodity because they would go missing quite nice to bagged up but and then there's this guy, I mean I have no idea on this guy, he is dated somewhere, but um, I've seen these online, they don't go for a tremendous amount like this to be honest. And then this last one is a cool one, um, it's a Transformer type one, now I think this was, I think it was something like Beast Wars, um, and I've tried looking for Beast Wars and the similar ones, but there isn't an eagle. Um, so if anybody can help me with this, again, that would be greatly appreciated, is dated 1996. And this is actually in really nice condition with no damage or any particular wear. So I'm, I'm quite hopeful with this one that it will be worth some, some money. Um, and it does sort of fold up. There's a bit of oxidisation on some of the joints of the metal. Uh, I think they've probably been kept in a basement or a shed or something. So, yeah, pretty cool. So... Not my usual thing, but I seem to be picking up comics and action figures quite a lot of late. I'm kind of drawn to them. So yeah, I've got a lot of listing ahead of me, so if anybody can help me with any of these, or if, if anybody's interested in any of them, I'll work out a trade or whatever. You can contact me on Facebook, and we can go from there. Um, but yeah, if you like this video, just hit the like button, which will be here or here somewhere. And if you've got any comments or any help, just pop them down here and I will catch you in the next video. See you later.